A change in the way undocumented workers can gain citizenship is the latest in a string of moves by President Obama to change U.S. immigration policy without Congress's help. But will all this lead to comprehensive reform? White House correspondent David Nakamura is here to tell us what this week's move does and what it might foretell. Good to see you. Hi, Brooke. So what exactly did he do this week? So basically, it's a rule change at the uh, Department of uh, Homeland Security in which, you know, uh, those uh, illegal immigrants who are related to a U.S. citizen, maybe the spouse or the child, will, will be able to apply for a visa for permanent residency inside the U.S. Previously or currently, under current law, they have to come forward, then leave the country, and then apply for a hardship waiver, you know, sort of asking for forgiveness for this sort of illegal residency. And then the State Department would decide and so on. And, and they would be decided whether they could come back or not. Now they'll be able to stay in the country, stay with their family, and even if they get turned down, they'll still be here and maybe have other recourse. Also, they still will have to leave just briefly, but it's a better chance they're going to come back. Yeah, it basically changes the incentives because now you can play play the ticket, and if the ticket doesn't come up, you just keep the status quo. Absolutely, and I think you know the hardship on families is that what what happened previously is because there was so much uncertainty, people would leave the country, then apply, and then be gone for years, never see their loved ones again uh, for that time frame. Uh, a lot of people chose not to come forward, so they're hoping also another thing that this thing does. Uh, not only eases the time frames you have to leave the country, but also that more people might come forward, get out of the shadows, uh, and have, be, have their cases heard. And obviously critics will say it whiffs of amnesty, but that's a whole other question, and it leads to the, the 11 million person question, which is comprehensive reform. Can it happen? When would it happen? That's a, that's a big question. And uh, the, the White House continues to insist that they're going to move quickly on this. The president was got a lot of criticism from Latino activists and Asian activists that said, you know, he didn't do anything on comprehensive reform in his first uh, four years. He's since the election where he got overwhelming support of these groups, he's pledged to take it on right away. Uh, that's complicated a little bit by the continued fiscal negotiations. We're going to have round two of that in two months. I think we're looking at, um, and also gun control. So I think we're looking at an uh, immigration time frame of a comprehensive reform, working with the Senate on some sort of bill um, that could maybe get some bipartisan support there and then taking it to the House probably sometime in the spring or even early summer. The armchair uh, assumption is that Republicans are going to be kind of bullied into accepting some sort of immigration deal. Right. Is, that, is that still the popular wisdom? And is that is the goal to have the whole or most of the Republican caucus come along, or is it just picking off enough people that you can make it happen? You know, I talked to some folks yesterday. There's uncertainty in the House whether, you know, negotiating with John Boehner and the president or the White House is the right strategy. I think a lot of people looked at the debt ceiling thing, the debate we just went through. Uh, work maybe with the Senate. There's already a bipartisan committee in the Senate working on immigration. Um, find a, a common ground there, and that might, you know, give enough support to get enough Republicans in the House. You won't get all of them on any bill, but um, that might get enough of them to come forward. So I think that might be the strategy, the sort of blueprint that they're going to use again. Is this one of those issues where we know what the bill looks like and it's just a matter of getting the politics right? Or is the policy still up in the I air? I think so, there, there's a lot has been done on this. There's a lot of uh, what people say you could take some uh, initiatives off the shelf, put it together in a comprehensive bill. Um, but I think that there, you know, the question is some Republicans are saying there's parts that they don't like, obviously. you know, And I think that there is still uh, a sense of working that out. Uh, there's some folks who are saying, will the White House take the unusual step of sort of crafting sort of a bill that, that could be a model for it or, or certain principles that they want to see in the bill and asking Congress to go uh, forward with that. The Senate also, though, like I said, has this committee of, of senators who've been working on it for a long time, and as well as some new senators, Jeff Flake of, uh, of Arizona. Um, it's called the Gang of Eight, you know, and four Democrats, four Republicans. They're going to be coming up with some ideas as well. Dave, thanks a lot. Great, thanks.